Hi, it's Tiny Dani, and on this channel we experiment with different type of art. In this video, I will be going on a website which generates random images, and I will need to create one illustration from these random images. To make this a harder challenge, I will also go on a different website that generates a random color scheme, so that I will be limited with the colors that I can use. Let's begin the challenge. Let's see what the random photos are going to be. A squirrel, oh my god, I love squirrels. Rubber bands and ooh, a graffiti of a dog eating a steam cake, I think. So now that we have the three images, I am going to see the color scheme that I will be given. Okay, I think these colors are really interesting. Okay, so now that we have the images and the color scheme, I'm going to start thinking of what I can create. So the colors that were given was a reddish color, very pale yellow, and three shades of blue that can be very easily mixed together. So I was thinking that for the squirrel I will be using the reddish color, the pale yellow for the tummy of the squirrel, and I will be using the three shades of blue for the background and for the rubber bands. In the illustration, I wanted to make the squirrel the main subject because I really love squirrels. Since there was already an animal, I didn't want to make the dog part of the illustration as well, so I decided that the style of the illustration would be a graffiti style. This was my first attempt, but I wasn't happy with the way it turned out, so I decided to give it another try. So I started sketching a squirrel and standing up pose, which I really ended up liking. I then wanted to show that the squirrel is trying to grab a bunch of rubber bands to show that it has kind of an obsession with rubber bands. So then I thought, what if the squirrel just arrived at a rave party or at some kind of glow in the dark party and is just saying hi to all its friends. And to show this, I started adding rubber bands on its hands and on its neck. After I was done from the first two images, I then started focusing more on the graffiti style. So to impose the graffiti style even more, I drew a bubbly high on the wall and this made it look more graffiti-like. At the end, I then decided to add some splashes on the wall and some outlines to finalize the illustration. I was happy with the outcome and it was really fun doing this challenge. Thank you for watching this video, please click the like button and if you'd like to see more of my art challenges and ideas, consider subscribing. Turn on the bell notification so that you will be notified when I upload new videos.